Hi, Daddy. I'm just kind of recording what it's like around here in the morning. Here's the girls. I just let them out not too long ago. The girls and Fred. They go over here and they eat their chicken scratch a little bit. And here's Jake with his Kong. He's wanting me to throw it. That's always a big deal thing. Look at him. Tweety, you want Mama to throw your Kong? Can we throw it? There you go. Good boy. Here's everybody. There's Fred, the rooster. And Susie's got the dark neck over there. Daisy's on the other side. And there's Sesame and Matilda and Eagle. They're all running around eating their scratch. I read yesterday that scratch isn't good for them during the summer. It's only for the uh, winter and colder times because it um, requires so much heat for them to digest the corn in it. So they're about through with their bag of scratch and won't be getting any more. But it was 38 degrees outside and I think right now it's 40 something. So I'm letting them go ahead and finish it up. I don't know if you can hear all the birds outside, but they are tweeting everywhere. There's all kinds of nests going on right now. Let's see if I can get some birdies on here. That's both the chicken houses. Jake's spying out. He looks for squirrels every morning. He goes over the bank here. But there's a lot... Lots going on as far as the wildflowers and the different things. I'll go over here to the bank and show you. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. Yeah. Down there, there's pine trees that James planted. And then the willow tree down there. And there's peach tree. And this chestnut's going to be right in the way. But. Down here on the bank is where the girls love to go down here. And they get out in the hay I've thrown out or the straw or whatever it's supposed to be called. And they dig and dig and dig. And of course all the other animals like it too. Um, but Daisy will come out here. She's my kind of independent one. She's a little Americana with a different color. But she'll come out here and she'll go underneath this chicken coop here. Of course, it won't be too long, and there's going to be snakes and everything else up around here. James has already seen some black snakes, but we'll see. Um, if you can see down in the, the bank down there, the girls love to go down there. They walk all the way down. There's a little spring down there, and they go there, and then they go all around that way, and then they come up at the bank over here. But this is Daisy's little hiding hole. She goes right down here and goes underneath when she gets tired of all the other chickens. I think she's a little bit smarter than the rest of them. And here's Mr. Jacob. He knew I was coming this way. So he waited until I got over here. But and here is the original chicken coop. James has kind of re revised the bars over there because uh, Fred's so much bigger. Um, <clears throat> and it puts a lot of pressure on his feet to be on the small bars. So he put the bigger ones up there. But this screen room, we'll just leave it screened now. This winter we had put the siding on it to keep them warm. But um, we even got the little shelf up here for electronics for the baby monitor. But it's in the other pen right now. But there's a little water system we put in there, but here's their hanging water and stuff, and here's their nest of boxes they continue to use. But here's a little gravel pit for their little grit they have to get. But here's eggs so far this morning. Daisy has yet to lay hers, but she usually lays hers in the afternoon. There's a little tunnel that goes through that James built for them. Uh, to go to the other chicken coop. So we'll go look in there. 
on this one I just swept out all this, the yucky straw but not quite finished in here but here is these uh, roast it's a little bit bigger we've had them in here the last two nights because it's been in the 30s but um, they like the other one we keep the food and everything in the other one <clears throat> but we'll use this one for the winter there's the baby monitor where we were watching them Here's their nesting boxes here. I haven't got their curtains yet. I'm going to paint the outside of the coops um, a red, white, and blue combination. I'm not sure quite yet, but I've got them uh, curtain material that I'll do here and then the other one for matching. And here's the tunnel where they come up from here. And then we were going to make that a little nesting box, but we're kind of they're using it kind of as just a little hideout place. Here's the ramp up here, and here's their long ramp to go up to up to here, and here's their mirror. I moved their mirror down here, but here's a mess of straw I need to throw out. And here's Mr. Jake's Kong. James built a step up over this tunnel, so I can step up over it and don't have to go down the slippy part. Because the slippy part is, this is where I fell that time. It's off this porch here and landed way down there in the middle of the straw. But um, anyway, and he put this long rail, but I don't go down that side anymore. So, and yesterday he got out here and he cleaned out underneath his shed. So you see all the toys and tools. But this is... <laughs> We need to sell this boat and this motor because we got this other one over here, which is crazy. But, um, and we got a trailer here and a trailer there. And over here is where he burns the trash with all the names and everything in it from all the stuff we get in the mail. But here's some more the bank. It goes down. It's grown up over the last couple of years since we put the rocks in it. It's really pretty. And this is a pretty time of year before it gets all hot and mosquito-y. Um, let me see. Well, here's the side. I'm trying to see if we can find the bird's nest. I don't know if we can or not. It's, um, the birds are full of making nests right now. There really was some bluebirds in that one. But I hadn't seen any activity lately. That's when Nick Kiana made me a couple of years ago. And they like it. We've had a couple of families in there. Now here's our little chickies. They're starting their morning thing. They Kind of go around here and they look for worms in the wood pile. And Jake's getting jealous now between the camera and the... Oh, do you see a squirrel, honey? Leave it alone. Leave it alone, Jake. Leave the squirrel alone. Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Go get it. Now he's trying to stir up between the chickens and between the camera. He's a little bit jealous. Here they are, they're starting their rounds. They're very round conscious. <laughs> they come over here and dig for worms and they're going to the front because there's more sunshine. Is it and all of them? He'll start crowing in a minute because not everybody's all together. But here's our food city trees. These things we planted when we just moved here. And they were in little five gallon buckets. And we planted them too close. Probably planted them about five feet apart from each other. There's actually six of them. But we call them the food city trees because we bought them for a sound barrier from over there. When we first moved out here, it was pitch black at night and you couldn't see or hear anything. And then food city moved in about six months later and the air conditioner sounded like um, airplanes taking off. So these, these bushes helped, but who would have known they'd been so huge? 
but they're pretty, especially when the snow gets on them. And the girls love them. They hide underneath them, and Jake gets under them too. And here they started their adventures. And there's Jacob trying to figure out what I'm doing. Good morning. Yeah, they're already starting to think about taking a dust bath. They get in the back part here and start flicking dust and laying in it and wallowing like little pigs. I'm sure you've seen it. But um, anyway, yes, they do. There's Daisy. Hey. What you fussing about, Fred? What you fussing? You don't know what I'm doing? Yeah? Who's missing? Somebody's missing. There's Eagle and Daisy. And who is that? Okay, that's Sesame. So we're missing Susie and Matilda. Those two usually go off and get into trouble. They like to go climb on the shelves in the garage when James has the thing open. But, and there's my Mr. Jacob. Where'd you put your toy, honey? Where you put it? There it is. This is, this is about it. We hadn't put it in the garden yet. Our little trees here are starting to grow. I love these things. They're real slow growing, but I think they're pretty. I forget what they're called. But um, anyway, I like them. I think we might do a couple of those bag gardens like we did right here. And we did tomatoes in the middle of the yard here last year, but I don't know that we're going to do that this year. We kind of change it up every year to see. But here is our bird tree that has actually split down the middle since we've lived here. Um, let's see if I can... There's a bird's nest up here. It's a robin's nest. I don't know if we can see any or not in it. There's it definitely has activity. There's another nest over here that was last year's, and I haven't seen anybody in it yet. Uh-oh, I might have just scared a robin out of it. Let's see. What is that, a leaf? Oh, okay. That's a leaf. Thought for a minute there might be something in there. Nope, just old bugs. <laughs> that's a, that's an old nest from last year. I had three or four birds in it, but I just saw the mama robin fly out. Nope, you hear Fred? He's wondering where all his little chickens went. They're all right here with me. They follow me around like little ducks. Fred's looking for y'all. There's a bird feeder. Now here is John's house that he sent me. And you know, just between me and you, it really did not weather like I expected it to. Um, I'm gonna take it and kinda fluff it up, maybe put some more sealer or something on it. Um, but I know it looks a little rough. So uh, we saw some birds playing around in it. I haven't seen that there are any in there. I don't want to open up the bottom and see because if, if there are right now, it'd be the time for the nest and I don't want to hurt them. So and here's our blackberry bushes. And this last little cold snap with the 30s is what um, what they're calling the blackberry winter over here. There's a blackberry winter, there's a dogwood winter. There's all kinds of winters in the mountains. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? What's wrong with you? 
Everybody's over here. You missing your girls? You missing your girls? What's wrong? They're over here. It's okay. It's okay. You okay, baby? Come on. Fred also doesn't like the birds. We'll have um, pigeons sometimes and sometimes doves that fly around and he really gets antsy when they all start coming through here. So, <clears throat> but he's wanting all the hens to stay together and this time of morning they're out looking for worms and they're not too good at staying together. Matter of fact, they're all right down here trying to see me. If I can find them, there we go. Yeah, what do y'all see? What do y'all see? Y'all see something? What you see, Daisy? What you see? Oh, y'all think I have something. Yeah. yeah they're all after the earthworms. But anyway, and here's Jacob following me around the yard like I'm crazy. Trying to find this corn. Let's see. Is this what you want, sweetheart? Is this what you want? There you go, big boy. Here's the little planters that James made <clears throat> last year uh, after we did the deck. And this one's for tomatoes. We're doing tomatoes in here. And... And that's the little deck and the awning, and it needs cleaned off, looks like. And then over here's the garden. We're going to plant it sometime this week, I'm not sure. We've got some little snow peas growing. Uh, but we, I think, planted them too deep. They didn't really do very much this year. And then here's our potatoes. We planted them about a month ago, and they're start to go nuts so we'll harvest them in the oh, probably the late summer or fall there's uh, new potatoes is what they are so anyway I thought I'd give you a tour of what goes around in the morning over here uh, lots of chickens and jake for the most part James is in the uh, <clears throat> den taking a nap on the recliner he moves from the bed out to the recliner <laughs> so anyway I hope you have a good day daddy love you